Good morning, I am back at the Southern Iowa Speedway. I'm here with my Porsche 944. Has a new temperature sensor in it now, and I'm hoping that it will actually run correctly. I need a good baseline before we can take this back to the shop, start working on it, and making it into a better rally car. I think this is the third rally cross that I brought this car to, and it has yet to run correctly, and I'm hoping that it will today. It drives just fine on the street, it always has but pushing it out here in Rallycross is when the problems start to arise. So this is the only way to test it and see if it's running correctly. If you're unfamiliar with this car, this car has a two inch lift all around. It is running BF Goodrich all-terrain tires and I did put a front skid plate on it. I also added a tow eye and some tie down hooks just to make it easier to transport and to get towed off of the track should it break down. But other than that, this car is the way that I bought it. I've just been trying to get it to run good enough that I can see what I need to do to improve it. Thank you all for coming out. All our runs are cumulative. They all get added together. All the cones get added in, everything. So if you screw up on course, miss a gate or whatever, just keep going because it's a 10 second penalty versus the DNF you did with autocross. Um, our final standings are based on all your runs added together, basically. Uh, as you all probably know, the vertical cones, if they get knocked down or shifted over quite a bit, it's a two second penalty. All the cones out there should have a flag underneath them. Um, if it's on it, and like you hit it, and we can still see the, that it's sitting on the flag, we don't penalize you for that. And ever if it's off the flag, then you take the penalty. And obviously if it's down, you take a penalty. If you hit these, it doesn't matter. There's no penalty there. Um, obviously, this is telling us to go on this side here. If you hit this and leave that one alone, you're, that's a missed gate. So if you're out of sorts, try to take out the vertical cone, because then you're going to get a two second penalty versus a 10 second penalty. There's not a lot of cars here today, but we are going to be running in three groups. I'm running in the last group, so I am corner working the first two groups right now. We're going to make five runs each, then we're going to switch to the next group. And then in this afternoon, we'll get at least five more runs as well. Right, and we have our first car out. Here comes the first car now.
The Miata with no number had one cone. You can see on the dirt track portion of this that as all the loose stuff gets worn away it's almost like a it's a it's a very hard surface under there almost like running on pavement the first two groups have gone now and I'm up we'll see if this works usually I'm able to make the first run all right but then the car heats up and doesn't act right so we'll see what happens Okay, I think that was better, but I don't think that was great. The car still felt like it was cutting out at the end. This will be the second run where things usually go really wrong. So we'll try this out, see if it's any better. I hope it is because I'm not sure where to look to fix this problem.
right, that was my second run. I did complete it. It felt about the same as the first run did. I don't think the car is working correctly. Again, I'm not sure how to solve this. The temp gauge is showing that it's getting hot, but it's not that hot. I think it's well within operating temperatures. Looks like I'm still having problems with the Porsche 944. I guess I'm going to have to go back, try to heat it up as much as I can on the dyno. That way I have a controlled situation where I can check things out while it's actually doing this. Again, it doesn't do this on the road, only when I'm pushing it hard here at Rallycross. So this is a really hard problem to track down because I don't know why the car is doing what it's doing. After a few runs, it just seems that if I try to give it more than 10% throttle, it just starts cutting power and hardly wants to go anywhere. So if you want to see this Porsche 944 get fixed, comment below and click subscribe.